Hey everybody, it is me, Phantom B, and we are currently in a video that is on Pizza Tower, which you may not have actually seen on this channel before, but whatever. Anyway, I'm doing a challenge run for this game where I'm trying to beat the entire game without being able to use the Mog Run button, which is um, a button because, well, it's on my controller. I'm not playing this on keyboard. If you're playing this on keyboard, I guess it'd be like the key. Anyway, you're probably wondering how I'm able to actually break all these metal blocks, despite the fact that I can't actually Mog Run. And that's due to an exploit with the noise where he's able to assume a mock run state by basically spinning and then canceling it out with a... Like, you can do like a tornado jump. Tornado jump. I'm, I play paper, too much Paper Mario. You can do stuff like uh, the, this, um, the, the death tornado spin. You could do the uh, crusher jump. Or like the, the up, the up, the I'll call it, the jetpack. And basically, if you cancel it by using the attack button, it allows you to, um... It allows you to... What am I trying to say? God dang it. I haven't rehearsed the script for this. Basically, it allows you to, uh, to spin, and if you spin and you press the attack button while you're spinning, you will summon a run state. I think I've already said this before. I don't know. I haven't rehearsed this. But you get the idea. Basically, this allows me to, um, break metal blocks without being able to press the mock run button. And I do know that there are a lot. Of, there's a lot of ways that this um, that this can be used in challenge runs. You can probably do stuff like I don't know, minimum left or right pressures or something because you can at least use this to move. But I decided to try P-breaking levels, and John Gutter is th the first. And this might be the first. It's actually a fairly difficult level to do because there's a lot of metal blocks, rather in the beginning, even some during the end, and. In, in particular, there's a really nasty secret that also has a really annoying metal block to try and clear. And if you don't break it in time, well, your combo breaks. And if your combo breaks, I fail the P rank. And I don't want to fail the P rank. So, there's a lot of opportunities for failures to happen in a challenge like this. And I'm not going to show all the I'm not going to show any failures here because I do believe that um, y'all probably just want to see the P ranks actually happen. I think you should also know, though, that if I end up actually finding myself in a situation where I need to pick up speed, I will just repeatedly jump and keep the mock run going, because sometimes you just need to be able to go faster. I'm not really bothered by it, though, because I'm not pressing the mock run button, and there is a situation where it, there where it's a lot better to, um, to spin, because you don't really have a lot of... you don't have a very high ceiling. So, yeah, that's basically what I have to do in order to uh, not lose. There are, there are other times where, wherever you want to have, like, some space so that you can actually um, break the blocks, because if you're too close, then you'll just bounce off of it. And if you bounce off of it, then you're in trouble. I actually don't end up getting those toppings. I was going to save them in case I fail, but I didn't fail. I got it first time, so that's cool. I was thinking about doing a 101% run, actually, through this game, but, um... Because of John Gutter having the let's make this quick achievement, which involves beating John Gutter another two minutes, I don't think that's actually possible. It might be, but I can't do it. I, I, I feel like I'm not good enough at this game to do so. You may actually remember my other videos if you've seen other Pizza Tower challenges where I played the game without being able to uh, kill more enemies than required or, you know, only went for D-Rex. I thought I had a super taunt there, but I didn't actually have one queued up. Also, you can probably see that the toppings are looking are looking a little different. I have topping girls as a mod. If you're wondering, by the way, which button I have the um, what's it called? Oh yeah, the mock run Batsu. It's the uh, it's the down button, which is on the direct the directional pad. So basically, if I try pressing the mock but the mock run button, all I'm going to do is slide, and it's going to be a very slow slide. So there really is no benefit for me actually pressing it at all. You could try this yourself if you really want to and see how this would be for me. I probably should have showed my controls at the end of this video or at least somewhere near the beginning, but I didn't think to do that. That's my bad, unfortunately. But we've actually got kind of past the hardest part, and something nice about lap 2 is that for most levels, it's just going to be strictly easier. You may have to, of course, worry about the time limit, but most levels, that really won't be a problem. I say most because there is a level in this video that actually ends up being a very, uh, scary problem, and by scary, I really mean that it got my... I was frantic, basically, with how the last level in this video actually went. 
But yeah, that's John Gutter. That was a P rank. And that is what we're going to be aiming for throughout this whole video. I think this took me about, I want to say 20 or so minutes. I don't know. Now, Pizza Escape is embarrassing because this is a level I actually managed to um, do first try. It doesn't look like that because you see the TV and the TV is going to make me get a deadly way that this was spliced, of course. But what happened is that um, I forgot to click record and that means that I had to do this again. Now, you see there's a metal block there. It's um, Pizza Escape, honestly, is probably the easiest of the levels in this on this floor. There's a lot. There's not a lot of metal blocks, and if there are metal blocks, oftentimes you can break it using a night transformation. So they really are not going to be in the way very much. And really, the main obstacle that will be obstructing your pass on um, your progress is the uh, it's the stupid rats. I'm still going to be going for points whenever I can, though, because to get a P rank, you have to be able to get an S rank requirement and score. Something I think is also going to be really annoying about this challenge, though, is that because of the inability to mock run it um, just freely, enemies don't really get scared very often, so relying on parrying is going to be a lot more important. And then there are situations where you can't parry at all, and you just end up being forced to take damage because you legitimately cannot dash in time. So you can expect there to be a lot of close shaves in this challenge. I'm not sure if we're going to do like post commentary for all of these vid for all of these um, floors because, well. I don't know how much I'd have to say unless it's just something to comment on, which, to be fair, there's always something to comment on when it comes to these levels, this, especially later on. Like, Floor 1 has some doozies, but there are some nightmarish levels in the future. And if I am the good post-commentary, I'll be sure to bring up that when they actually happen. Yeah. Pizza Scare, Pizza Escape is Pizza Scare, what the heck. Pizza Escape is a pretty mild level otherwise. Something nice about the noise is that if he hits the wall, he does not break his um his slide, so even if I miss the, the gap, I can I can just walk right inside it. I don't want my commentary to be too like focused on like the obviously mundane stuff in this in this video though, because if I if it is like that, I highly doubt people would be interested in hearing it. Around here is where I try a technique called um wall boosting, because well, I want to go fast. I don't do it very much in this in this in this video, obviously because well, I'm not used to doing it. It's not something I'm comfortable doing yet. This whole challenge is uncomfortable. <laughs> like when you when you get so used to running fast, it feels like a, it feels like absolute whiplash, being forced to go so much slower. It's it is very. Oh God, I forgot to um, edit this part out. Well, crap. All right, so as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I was trying to come up with other stuff to talk about during that break period, and I could not come up with anything. But yeah, Pizza Escape, like I said before, is um not bad. Pizza, pizza time itself is also pretty mild because there's no real extra hidden blocks. Not hidden blocks, this is not Mario Party. There's no more metal blocks to really worry about. Something you may have actually noticed earlier, actually, in this in this level, is that I actually um I broke the metal block that's in the very first room, and that's because I had an issue before where I would um what I would do is I would actually just try to um to make it back to the exit, and I, for some reason I guess because of Pizza Face being on my tail at the time, I didn't really have the time to process uh just immediately going for the exit, which had the you know taking the roll of the mushroom on it. And that caused me a fair share of, of losses. I actually once lost a P rank while streaming this challenge, and I got an S rank, which is uh, very demoralizing when it happens. I had some attempts also die because I um, did not get the tomato, even though there's no good reason to actually bother getting it, because I do it with a point requirement without getting all the five toppings. And here I don't know why, I just did not want to use my super jump, but I have a very weird way of doing things. But, I think you get the idea. That area, I like the super top because um, this late into the, into the level, I do not want to lose my combo to getting damaged and just not being able to recover in time. 
but likewise, I'll just not... Well, okay, I actually attack there, but I tend to avoid actually hitting those, uh... Those Fork Knights, because I don't want to risk getting hit by them. It's weird. I think that's the reason I actually had the, uh... The top, the topping I covered earlier, because I do not want to worry about getting getting screwed over basically by taking damage. I don't know if you want if you want to hear me just shut up more and just like listen to the game itself. I'll do that in future videos, but. That depends on the feedback I get for this, is all. I might post this on my Phantom B channel, actually. I, I think I already said I would be doing that, but I don't know for sure. I could post this on my main YouTube channel, because if I do that, I get, like, ad revenue and stuff, which is very nice, because I am pretty poor after all. But, at the same time, I kind of want to get my other channels to grow. But yeah, that's uh, Pete's Escape, which is, as you can see, pretty mild overall. I love having rhythm with that. <laughs> All right, so that was, yeah, that was Peace Escape. Last two levels were not hard, but the final two levels in this video are really freaking bad. Now, Ancient Cheese sucks. What I like to do in the beginning is break this metal block so that I can have to worry about doing it later. If it also helps because, you know, there's no combo to have break in, broken here. But um, here, there's a, there's a, this is a choke point. What I end up having to do here is I have to be able to uh, access the first secret, but I also try to um, break this metal block so that I can actually proceed. And I don't want to like get past the first secret and then just fail. So there you have it. And the first secret has a lot of has has a, has a metal block within it, which you have to break in order to escape. And this requires having to jump repeatedly on these blocks that disappear so that you don't, well, fall. I had a lot of times where I would fall, but I would still be able to recover. It's... it's not pretty. I lost a lot of attempts there. I actually had one attempt here um, die because, for whatever reason, I wasn't just spitting into the chia slimes. And I ended up actually just getting caught on, try on just attacking them as I was trying to, like, recover. And then the blocks reappear before I could actually escape, which really sucked. At least it was early, though. You see, the gimmick here is the bombs, which is something that we'll be dealing with a lot here as well. There's, but yeah, there's a lot of metal blocks in Ancient Cheese, and as a result, there's a lot of chances where the, where the run is left can actually fail. I don't think there's any metal blocks for a while right now, but they will be some more once we get to um, the pizza time area. I know that for a fact, and when that happens, um, the, the third secret is particularly awful. Oh yeah, I killed that Fork Knight because I did not want to have it hit me as I'm trying to rush back here. But yeah, the third secret sucks. Now, with well, the third secret, what happens here is that, um, for the most part it's alright, but there's this metal block which has, uh, an incline in front of it, a slope, and you have to be able to, um, you have to be able to assume a Mach 3 state while you are unable to actually land on the ground before you actually are able to, um... Where you could actually, um... What are the words we're looking for? You're trying to assume a Mach 3 state, but you can't actually get the ground to hit a Mach 3 state, and you'll just bounce into the air. And there are no toppings you can use to refresh your counter, so, um... You really only have about one or two attempts, and it's... It's just dreadful. What I ended up um, finding out, actually, is a way this could actually be possible is that you actually have to try and, um, you know, you have, to, you have to try and basically spin out up the incline because if you do that, you use some mock run state and you're actually then able to, uh, you're able to actually turn around, which will again see you in a mock run state, and then you're able to, to jump and destroy the, the block and escape. And there's also a metal block that's outside of the piece of time area where if you don't break it early, run the risk of just not being able to break it in time and getting caught. Yeah, this level took a lot of trial and error. This is probably the hardest one so far. Not, not even probably, definitely. And 
Just, you can see for yourself what this, what this actually involves. See, I break the metal block and then I head back. I have a little bit of, um, a, a doodle -doo finger sometimes. I cannot process sometimes what I actually do with the inputs. But yeah, as you can see, this most of the sequence is not so bad. It's just the last part, which is uh, absolutely dreadful. And I have to do this. What I learned actually is that the direction you take when you're in the tornado is the direction that the noise will come out of once he lets go. So I'm able to use that to consistently align myself and it makes this a lot easier. I'm really thankful I found that out. And now the pizza time section from here on out, I don't think it's actually too bad. Like I don't think there's any areas that are particularly nasty. So um, yeah, that's ancient cheese. That's basically the second level. That's no, second. That's the first really annoying level. I'm not sure if I say this is like this is harder than Bloodsaw's dungeon though, because Bloodsaw's dungeon also has a lot of annoying secrets, and by that I mean it has only one. But the one secret in, in, in Bloodsaw's dungeon is just really bad in general too. There's also the matter of uh. Well, I don't want to say too much before then, but I will say that there's a lot of middle blocks in that level as well, and they're very frequent. The I nice think about Plus Us Dungeon though is that at the very least there aren't any metal blocks you have to break on the escape. So that's nice, relatively speaking. Here comes lap two. You can see that it was very tame overall. The first lap was. Though I barely even had enough uh for a P rank, so I have to get some more points there. I actually use my super taunt on the pencer there because I don't want to risk attacking it and getting hit. You can probably notice a theme here that I just opened the way up for this pepperoni goblin and didn't do anything with it. I, I don't know what I do sometimes, but I do. Anyway, if you are enjoying this video, you can subscribe because I want to be able to reach 1,000 subscribers. I don't know what I actually will, and to be honest, I probably should have asked this earlier in the video. Oh, I actually managed to parry the pincer, cool. I did not know I would be able to do that. I'm thinking about Bloodsaw Dungeon, actually, I think, and that's a spoiler. Anyhow, this level is about over. This cheese line might not be let to live. That was embarrassing. It's, it is pretty liberating, though, getting to just go hog wild on all these enemies after being just forced to not kill them at all because of how I was so often doing level um, challenges that actively involve getting low scores, like... It, it's a... it's a... it feel... it's, it's a feeling not like anything else. But yeah, this level I actually also managed to S rank before getting the P rank, which is indicated by the fact that the topping girls don't give money. Now plus on this dungeon, this level sucks. A lot of choke points here. In fact, I think the entire level here is a... Choke point. <laughs> Why did I leave that in? But yeah, I didn't even bother like take the attempt there because if I took damage already, it's like, what are I even doing anymore? But yeah, a lot of metal blocks here. Some are hidden, and a lot of secrets actually also are, are locked behind metal blocks. And by a lot of, I mean literally only the first one. Since I had the time to get the mushroom, I went ahead and got it here. And that is a very cheap placement of the pizza cutter. I am being only somewhat facetious there. At least the first secret isn't too hard to get into, though. There's a few ways you can. And actually navigating the secret isn't too bad either, because you can actually go around these, uh... These, these, uh, these bricks. But I don't, because, well, there's no reason to. If I had to, I, I, can, I can literally fly. So that's very cool. But yeah, a lot of toppings here are also just scattered about, so it's for the best to try and get as much as you can before the escape happens, because um, you do not have a lot of time to mess around. It is very tight, the timer feels like, and that's because without being able to mock run, the noise just feels a lot slower. Like I honest to god, I think I actually was, um, I really was on the brink of death several, um, several times in this in this level. It is just very hard to be able to keep a consistent speed here. Verticality is is no joke. But yeah, the second secret's coming up soon, and this level, and this this secret in particular is absolutely awful. 
because there's a lot of stretches where there are just no points to get and there's still metal blocks that you have to break and that forces you to be really consistent and hitting the lava will slow you down considerably so you really do not want to mess around too much you have like only one attempt and that is not a lot of attempts to have Alright, so down here there's also a lot of metal blocks with the break, and they aren't immediately obvious because you can't actually see them. Very sinister game design, honestly, and you also just have very narrow windows of actually hitting them. This level is just mean like that. But, you know, with some experience on it on your belts, it ain't too bad. Which is very nice, at least. The, I will say though, it's, um, there's also a top and later that we are not going to be getting. The pineapple in particular is, uh, very annoyingly placed because you're encouraged to just be able to mock run through it. But there's so little height where the pineapple actually is that you do not really have much time to really try getting it. You really just have to, like, give it, like, one shot. If you don't get it, then you just have to be like, oh, well, I, I can't get it. Fortunately, you don't need to get it, but it would be nice to have because, you know, more points are more points. It will save a lot of hassle later, that's for sure. But yeah. Kind of nice that the sausage should be on the, on the route where I can't really avoid it for once. I really like this Top and Girls mod I have on, too. I don't know how other people think about think of it, but I, I just think it's adorable. I, I love the little bow. It reminds me of my Chompy from Blood Fables. But yeah, now you see how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to get into Pineapple Topic, but I'm not gonna be able to get it. So yeah, that's about as much as I'm gonna be. I'm um, wasting time on for it, unfortunately. And now pizza time. You're gonna see just how sluggish this ends up actually feeling. I guess I could try getting the, ty the pineapple ag um, again here, but no, I'm not gonna do that. You you just do not have time to mess around. You see how sluggish this also is, by the way, how I'm just constantly bumping into walls and I am not able to maintain my speed at all. That That's what this really just consists of. It is very slow. And not being able to mock run means that I'm, again, the pensers are going to constantly be able to hit me. It's not fun. But there you have it with this much at least. Again, there's no metal blocks on the way back up. It's just a matter of keeping the combo alive and getting points on the way. You probably could do this a lot faster than I did, but I am to my nose at first when they've been trying doing this challenge, so give me skip cutting some slack. I don't really have anyone else to go off of. I am literally pioneering this this movement. Not not, not actually yet, though. I learned this trick from another YouTube video. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll link it in the description. They show how it was possible to beat Pizza Tower about mock running. And that's what got me the idea for this challenge. I could probably try doing live commentary as well because maybe it'd be more interesting. I will say that by the end of a uh, of, of Bloodsaw's dungeon, I was I was extremely tense, like I was shaking like a leaf. I, I was legitimately t um, in shock in how close it was. You already see how the time is already more than halfway down, right? That's that's more than just for show. Trying to be more sharp though by timing. But yeah, this is this is honestly just miserable. Trying to go fast here. I tried to super taunt here also. I'm in a very big panic and I end up getting hit by the pizza cutter. It's a very good thing about after hitting invincibility. Oh man, this level is anxiety incarnate. This is like I feel like I'm playing Pepino again. Except Pepino will probably have a much easier time here because of being able to scale walls. Oh man. 
I wonder how uh, that, how this challenge would do on US with swap mode. Because with swap mode, you generally would not need um, the noise or that, so... It'd be kind of funny to think about that, actually. But I don't think I'm going to be using swap mode, because swap mode is, um... Basically just gives you a lot more options, which will make it a lot easier, even though it's entirely possible to beat every level here with just the noise. I don't know what y'all, maybe y'all have a, a different opinion on that. I know I'm slowing around here, but seriously. I, when you have poop fingers, it's like, sometimes you have to be able to think on your feet, and other times you just have to be able to, like, uh, think on the fly. I wait here because I want to have as much time as possible before Pizza Face actually tries to, tries to hit half of me. And as you can see, I'm trying to juke him on all of the, everything else, and yeah. I was actively shaking by the end of this. That was legitimately terrifying. But that is, um... That is the level, that is the floor one, that is the tower lobby. And that is, um, that's it for this video. So, subscribe if you want to see more Pizza Tower. Maybe, maybe not, and I'll see y'all later.